friends, good to see you back. We're spending a few months finding out the answer to this question, who is God? Today we'll learn that God is always with us. Who are some famous people you would like to spend time with? Pause the video and talk about it. We may never get to spend time with those people, but we do spend time with someone famous every day. God is always with us and he's more famous than anyone. We may not see him around us, but he's always there. Let's find out when people realize that in the Bible. But first, let's pray. So everyone take your right hand and your left and then smack them together and let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you that you are always with us. And thank you that even though we cannot see you, um, you are there by our side through the dark times and through the happy times, Lord. We just thank you. Thank you for your love for us and we love you so much in Jesus' name. Amen. Today we're going to learn about how God is always with us. But what does that look like? Let's turn it over to our animal friends. Hey friends, good to see you all again. I guess so. Is something wrong today, Bo? I'm sad because Ray the rabbit has been bullying me at school. Oh no, I'm sorry, Bo. What happened? Well, she was mean all day yesterday. This morning, she grabbed my soccer ball from me and wouldn't let me play with it. Well, did you get it back? Yes, my friend Monica the monkey helped me get it back from her. That's good. Bo, it's nice to have a friend who helps you in times like that. She's a good friend. But then at lunch, Ray knocked my food into the dirt. Ray doesn't sound like a very nice person. Did you have anything to eat? Well, Leo the lion saw and he shared his lunch with me. Wow, you have more than one great friend. I agree. But then at the end of the day, Ray was teasing me saying I'm not good at soccer. It's not fun being teased. So what did you do? Well, actually, I didn't have a chance to do anything because Ray's mom heard her and made her say sorry and go inside. Hmm, sounds like you have someone looking out for you. What do you mean? Today, we're learning that God is always with us. What I meant is that it sounds like God was with you. He gave you different friends to help you when Ray was me. Oh, that makes me feel even better. I'm glad God has given me friends to stand up for me. And I'm glad God gave you all as friends too. We're so glad you're our friend too, Bo. See you next time. Bye! Today's story is about two countries that kept fighting, Israel and Aram. Israel was full of God's chosen people, including a prophet named Elisha. A prophet is someone who God gives messages to so he can tell other people. The king of Aram made top secret military plans, but God told Elisha what the plans were. Then Elisha spread the message to his king and the Israelite army would be able to avoid getting hurt in the battle. God was with Elisha. When the king of Aram found out about Elisha, he was pretty mad. Meanwhile, Elisha and his servant were in a city called Dothan. Imagine that wherever you're sitting or standing is Dothan. And let's read 2 Kings 6 verses 14 to 15. Then the king sent horses and chariots and a strong army there. They went at night and surrounded the city. The servant of the man of God got up the next morning. He went out early. He saw that an army with horses and chariots had surrounded the city. My master, the servant said, what can we do? They were there, surrounded. Elisha's servant was afraid. But Elisha knew that God is always with us. Let's keep reading. Don't be afraid, the prophet answered. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. 
Elisha was talking about God's army being with them. That means an army of angels in fiery chariots with fiery horses. Glance around the room. Do you see anything like that? Elisha's servant didn't see God's army like Elisha did. So Elisha prayed. He said, Lord, open my servant's eyes so he can see. Then the Lord opened his eyes. He looked up and saw the hills. He saw that Elisha was surrounded by horses and chariots. Fire was all around them. Hmm, I wonder if we could find God's angel army if we look a little closer. Fire is red, orange, and yellow. So find as many things as you can in the room that you're in that are those colors. Let's go. Wow, this whole time we've been surrounded by an angel army and we didn't even know it. God is always with us. Just like Elisha's servant, we don't always see that God is around us, but he is. You see, there might be times when it feels like we're alone. Like when Bo was getting bullied, bullied or when Elisha was surrounded by an army. But in these times, we really need to remember that God is always with us. Even though right now we feel alone because we cannot see our friends or go to church, God is there. He made a way for us to see each other online. How cool is that? Let's be joyful this week that we're not alone. See you next time, friends.